Hello everyone, ito naman si JP at ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay about sa Microsoft NNI or Neural Network Intelligence. So ano ba tong Neural Network Intelligence na to? So last time, for the past two videos, we've been talking about AutoML or Automated Machine Learning. Now, to not break that tradition, tradition? To not break that streak to some extent, right? We'll talk about Automated Machine Learning again. Okay, so now the difference this time with neural network intelligence, because that day, uh, for the last two videos, we've been talking about creating machine learning models when you don't know how to build one and you just give it the data and mag generate yung library ng model para sa nagagamitin mo lang. Now, in this regard, medyo iba yung Microsoft NNI. What NNI does is dapat alam mo code dapat alam mong gumawa ng machine learning model or alam mong gumamit ng mga machine learning libraries and then what happens is meron siyang mga optimization algorithms na ginagamit para i-modify yung hyperparameters mo to achieve the best performance ng model mo so what does that look like okay tingnan natin well ito yung definition niya a toolkit to help users run automated machine learning, AutoML experiments. A tool dispatches, runs trial jobs, generated with tuning algorithms to search the best ar neural architecture or hyperparameters in different environments like local machine, remote service, and cloud. Okay, so that's a mouthful. So, ting na natin ito. So, binalikan ko tong uh, topic nito. Uh, kasi they just released it lately, I think five or six days ago. Uh, itong NNI. Uh, la, I, I did talk about this in one of my talks. I think it was during one of the boot camps at uh, Microsoft PH. So, si NNI, uh, let's break this down. No? So, NNI has the ability to support uh, a bunch of different frameworks like PyTorch, Keras, TensorFlow, yung mga sikat, uh, popular ones. And then, um, also scikit-learn, well, one of the most, uh, the more popular ones before uh, the deep learning uh, libraries came out like TensorFlow. And then we have examples here. Now, um, what's interesting here is the tuning algorithms. So, with NNI, okay, so backing up, for example, in scikit-learn, meron tayong uh, pipelines and meron tayong ability to actually do a grid search right which is this thing so what grid search is is it basically finds a combination of hyperparameters given um, a set of choices that's in specify mo so now um, and then I can also do that but meron pa siyang better ways of doing that instead of just using brute force with grid search so one of the things na uh, ginagawa niya is uh, naive evolution for example so it tries to to mimic something like uh, gen genetic algorithms to evolve the the current set of hyperparameters and also uh, something like hill climbing or like oh, simulated annealing and a bunch of other stuff that I've never heard before but you, what they usually prefer for this is this TPE although I don't know what uh, what this actually does but that's their preferred tuning algorithm for uh, neural network intelligence and actually works quite well so this is uh, this is the part where you tune for hyperparameters HPO hyperparameter optimization but it also has one of the more interesting uh, tuning algorithms would be itong uh, this part here this is network architecture search so this allows you to this algorithm allows you to actually uh, morph the architecture of your neural network to improve the performance so I'm not actually clear on how it does that but I when you think about it, it's kind of like the holy, holy grail. Hindi mo na, it's hindi mo lang inisip yung ano, yung hyperparameters mo. You're also morphing your network architecture. It's trying to search for a good architecture na 
magi improve sa metric ni specify mo, which is usually accuracy or something like F1. Right? And then, uh, it's not limited to just a single platform. So, you can run it locally. You can run it on remote servers, specify. Also, you can run it in Kubernetes. If you remember yung Azure Machine Learning Service, you can run it on a Kubernetes cluster on Azure with NNI, with Neural Network Intelligence, you're able to also run that on a Kubernetes cluster, even if it's your local cluster or something that is not cloud, maybe a private cloud na cluster. So this makes this really powerful and flexible because um, you, you're able to specify these hyperparameters that you want you to change and you can run it whatever, wherever you want, kahit anong platform that you want this to run in right so what does that look like so kailangan natin to begin kailangan natin install si NNI now in my case it's already installed so and also kailangan nyo din ng python currently I, I, I don't know if may sinasupport siyang ibang languages pero ang alam ko is sinasupport niya is python okay so kailangan nyo may python kayo naka-install and then if meron na install NNI via pip or pipenv. In my case, naka pipenv ako. Alright, excuse me. Uh, where are we? So, let's see what this looks like. Okay. Nope. Okay. So, firstly, kailangan natin ng search space. So, itong search space na to, yung pinagpipilian ng, ano natin, uh, pinagpipilian natin ng hyperparameters natin. So, search space. Uh, it's a, where you try to find a good solution. Now, so we have uh, so dalawang dalawang hyperparameter. You can actually name this whatever you want. These are just variable names. Pero, syempre, you want you want some clarity. So optimizer and the learning rate. So first optimizer, yung type is choice. So we are, there are a bunch of different uh, types. Um, pero choice is a good one. But this is just basically just pick one of them. Meron din ano, um, sa learning rate, meron tayong uniform which picks uh, somewhere between these two values using a uniform distribution. So, it what the NNI will run, will try to figure out is what is the best combination given these two na values. Okay, so ano ba yung best combination? So, next that we want to look at is yung config nang run natin. So, this would, so, config, yung kaninang search space would determine the hyperparameters, the value ng hyperparameters. Sa so config naman is how we run NNI. Okay? So, important stuff na nandito is trial concurrency, which means how many trials yung nagrarun at the same time. But, we can actually modify this on the fly. So, let's just keep this at one. Max execution duration and trial num number of trials max trial num so ito sila if you remember yung last video sa azure machine learning service uh, you can pick na how long you want the the training to run and also how many how many trials you want to run uh, tapos kung sino lang yung mauna doon that's your limit so for example nauna yung 1 hour nag end ka na sa 1 hour that's it tapos if ano naman if nauna yung 10 na trials before nag-end yung 1 hour, matatapos na yung trials mo. Okay. So, search space, yun yung, ano, yung kanina. Um, ito, uh, specified na tuning algorithm. In this case, naka-TPE siya. Um, you can choose a bunch of other ones as we have, as we've seen earlier. Tapos, uh, ano, how do you want your metric to be optimized? So, in this case, we want to maximize our accuracy. So, we're setting up up to, uh, maximize um, if I think if it's a loss uh, we'll pick minimize right if yun yung metric natin okay then this is the command that will be run so tingnan natin right uh, so for the code paano, na, paano naman natin nagagamit yung mga hyperparameters hyper, hyperparameters na to right so paano siya paano siya ginagamit in NNI so tingnan natin yung actual code so sa actual code uh, we actually start here, okay? So, ito yung kinokol ni NNI. So, ito yung part na kailangan natin. Um, 
ito yung part na hindi talaga kailangan ni machine learning pero kailangan natin ilagay para magamit siya ng NNI. Now what happens here is um kinukuha dito sa parser, kinukuha natin yung arguments from dito sa search space natin. Okay? And then pinapasa yan dito sa training na ano natin na function. And now itong train ay sineset ay binibigay, itong Rx ay binibigay dito, ito ay itong params binibigay dito. So, ito y yung first argument na yun, if nakita nyo, ito yung hyperparams. So, dito sa hyperparams na to, nandito yung optimizer. Yep, nandyan. And nandito yung learning rate. So, in-specify natin dito yung ano, um current value na na-figure out ni NNI na maganda for for this run. So, tinatry niya i-optimize to given the algorithm which is in this case yung TPE na tuner. So, if you want to add more here, right? Maybe gusto mo magdagdag ng drop off rate, drop out rate, sorry. Um, for example, if you want to add that here, you can add that in here also. Question, meron ba tayong drop out? Wala. In this network, meron tayong convolutional layers, pooling, uh, tapos dense layers. So, wala tayong dropout. Pero, if you want, for example, if you gusto na mag-add ng dropout, tapos you want to add dropout rate, pwede nyo specify yung dito. And you just uh, kukunin nyo yung value na yun from, from dito sa hyperparams na, na dictionary. Right? Or map. Whatever you want to use. Yun. So, that's it. Also, yeah, 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 here, you can also specify momentum maybe, or maybe a loss, kayo bahala. But, that's it, right? So, yung ginagawa ni NNI, pinahinahanap niya yung values, tapos pinapasa niya dito. So, magagamit na natin siya inside these hyperparams. Right, so, okay. But, how does this actually happen? How does the training actually happen? Uh, can we just run Python? Tapos, mnistkeras.py? No, we can't do that. We have to run NNI. Kahit na may nakalagay tayong code dito. Because, yung kinakol lang to, may pinapasa si NNI. So, we actually have to call NNI. To call NNI, nandito na ako sa folder na to. We just call. Assuming naka-install yung NNI, meron tayong NNI cattle. Tapos, we say create. Tapos, specify config. Tapos, ano yung files dito? mnist keras and then we say config.yaml right we just run that pipindutin na natin yan but we've, I've already done that so titignan natin yung result niyan so ito na yun this is it so tingnan muna natin from the start so a couple of things here so one thing na maganda is um, if you remember yung Azure Machine Learning Service meron din siyang UI. So, it would look like similar to this, pero dito, nakikita mo yung, ano, yung settings mo. Uh, Doon sa machine learning service, medyo abstracted sa'yo, so, hindi ka na malidistract ng mga details. Like this. Okay, tapos hindi mo na sa, sa, Azure Machine Learning Service na AutoML, um, yung, siya mismo yung specific ng algorithm para sa'yo. So, in this case, kailangan mo talaga marunong ka mag-code. Pero, yep. Uh, here, here, nakikita nyo. Tapos na siya. I ran this for an hour. Nauna yung one hour kaysa natapos yung mga trials, trial runs natin. So, ayun. And then, dito sa baba, makikita nyo yung best metric. So, accuracy ng 10 is 98%. Right? So, what we're training here is MNIST dataset. Ayun. So, makikita natin dito. Yung uh, first run, ito yung accuracy niya. Second run, ito yung accuracy niya. Then, makita niya dito yung list ng top na mga trials. So, top 10 trials, maximal, minimal. Ayan. Tapos, dito niyo makita yung search space. You can't edit this. Maki para lang makita niyo. Surprise. Tapos, dito naman kung currency, you can change that on the fly. Right. Tapos, makita niyo yung start time, run time, etc., etc. Now, uh, this is for the general uh, view. You can also view uh, details ng trial. So, ito yung metrics natin, which nakita natin dito sa overview din. Dito sa baba. But, interesting thing here is yung hyperparameter. So, makikita nyo yung combination ng hyperparameters na na-select para umabot tayo dun sa magandang metric. So, ito yung 
uh, ito yung legend. So, ito yung best performing natin. So, SGD, tapos, uh, a value of somewhere probably near 0.009 na learning rate. Okay? So, near 0.01 na learning rate. Now, these are just two. So, maybe if mag-run pa tayo ng marami, mas marami pa tayong makita. Well, that's it for this one. So, ito din makita natin yung duration ng training nila. And ito naman yung mga ano, uh, how the model improves as uh, the training goes on. Right? So, every time natatapos yung training natin, magpapalit tayo ng, nagpapalit si NNI ng hyperparameter to improve it. What it thinks na makapag-improve ng uh, ano natin, ng accuracy natin given yung um tuning algorithm in specify in specify natin which is in this case TPE. Yun. So this is a really powerful way of dealing with uh optimizing your machine learning models kasi hindi mo na kailangan specify uh hindi ka stuck sa ano sa brute force grid search, right? So marami kang pwedeng gawin. So marami kang pwedeng specify na ano na tuning algorithms you can pick also you can run a network architecture search para mino modify talaga mismo yung algorithm yung yung neural network architecture mo instead of just the hyperparameters and also hindi lang choice yung pagpipila mo meron ka pag uniform and you can uh, well th this is for the search space so marami kang pagpipilian in with regards to uh, fine tuning yung pagsusearch ng best hyperparameter for this particular experiment So, um, speaking of making AutoML really um, flexible, this is really, really flexible. Kasi, um, the, the, but uh, downside then, eh, to some extent, is kailangan alam mo yung mga hyperparameters na gusto mong i-change. Kasi like for uh, Azure Machine Learning Service AutoML or yung ML.NET na CLI Auto Training na AutoML, hindi mo na kailangan isipin. You don't need to know the algorithms and hindi mo kailangan malaman yung mga hyperparameters nila kasi automatically na sineselect sa'yo para sa'yo yung algorithm tapos yung pre-processing steps na kailangan. So, you don't need to think about it. Here, kailangan mong malaman uh, yung algorithm na gagamitin mo. Kailangan, kailangan mong alam yung algorithm na gagamitin mo. Tapos, you just pick a tuning algorithm na maghahanap ng best values para sa'yo. Now, this makes it really flexible but then again kailangan alam mo yung algorithm na you're working with so for the more advanced users this is a great uh, tool to work with especially if umay na umay na kayo dun sa ano umay na umay na kayo sa grid search or if gusto nyong itry yung neural architecture search uh, for me that's one of the most interesting features also yung uh, yung evolution na algorithm for tuning. I think that's one of also of the more uh, interesting ones kasi it's like optimizing your neural network with a uh, with an evolutionary based with a nature based na ano optimization algorithm. That that's pretty interesting for me. But that's me. So uh, just uh tidbits of thoughts for me. So that's it. So interesting dito is again nakikita niyo yung Um, it, it selects the hyperparameters for you and it can modify the network ar the neural network architecture for you at tapos nakita niyo yung results dito. Beautiful, especially if magre-report kayo uh, anong nangyari sa training, what happened, if you don't, if, which is different from what you see in TensorBoard. Kasi ito naman, minamanipilit niya talaga yung uh, hyperparameters para makita niyo how the network actually improves. Okay, so that's it for neural network architecture. Uh, Neural Network Intelligence, Microsoft NNI. If you have any questions, just comment below wherever you see this on YouTube or on Facebook because I'm releasing this on both platforms. So, again, I hope you learned something today. See you all next time.